Star Wars Outlaws is here, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a complete and total disaster on every single level. Who could see this coming? Who in the world could see this coming? Oh, I could see this coming because I was right, and I'm not one to brag ever. But I think that I deserve a little bit of credit right here for being well ahead of the curve. Now, I've been clipped multiple times on this particular video I'm about to show you. But of course, I get clipped all the time. And the clip is to make it known that this guy is a racist and a sexist. But I can actually explain the whole clip. Now, we're going to watch a little bit of this. But this is from Geeks and Gamers Daily from over a year ago. And let's listen to a few things that I had to say. In hashtag Star Wars Outlaws, the first ever open world Star Wars game. Now, maybe they haven't been around for a um, while. I'm, I can remember uh, playing an not... open world Star Wars game back in the 1990s, Star Wars Galaxies. So, not exactly the first ever, but interesting claim. I have not seen this yet. I am not interested based on the fact that you're already presenting a woman of color lead character to me. I'm already well, out. I'm already uh, out. Just get ready. Thrilled to be bringing K Vest. Cutting scoundrels so much. I'm already out. Why? Female voice. I'm done. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. I'm go ahead. You. The Empire. They're everywhere. But the world here belongs to the syndicates. I want to survive. Oh, I she's the badass in the bar. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Listen, I do think there's going to be a lot of people that love this little fucking animal. Okay. <laughs> so listen i've been the, the 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 people that hate me uh they have clipped that out they're like look at that he just dismissed it based on it being a woman a woman of color no i dismiss it based on the fact that it's a lucasfilm project and the fact that they are presenting identity politics at the forefront because if you know anything about lucasfilm this is what they've told you they have told you time and time again they have never said like we're interested in george's vision we're interested in the star wars fan base we're interested in telling good stories they've told you we're interested in representation when that's at the forefront of the project and you are putting it all in the fans faces you know that the project is going to ultimately have a lot of problems along the way because giving a good game, giving a good story, giving a good experience is not their priority. Their priority is to push identity politics. And that's exactly why I had my criticism. Not because it was a woman, not because it was just a female character in general. It's because it's a Lucasfilm project and Lucasfilm has shown us time and time again that that is their priority. Now we've got all of these clips to just to show how bad this game is. And this game is this bad because the emphasis was on social justice propaganda and not actually giving you a good game yeah he wouldn't but he told me you could mod my speeder uh yeah yeah of course i've got every part you could want i mean mag fins aftermarket sensors booster coils how about a hydro repulsor this looks terrible absolutely horrible in every single way possible this is unacceptable from a major, major game and a major property with this type of budget and the price that they're asking people to pay. This is unacceptable, but they don't care about quality. They don't care about your experience. They only care about the messaging. Oh, uh, no. You just said every part I could want. I mean, I could slap the repulsor on there now. That's no problem. But without some good Durasteel struts, it'd shake loose in a day or two. Yeesh. And it only gets worse because here you have this moment right here. Mr. Matt plays. Oh, and the AI is a big problem in this game. Let's check out the AI um, right here. Oh, 
Why would you like? Why would you even want to play this game? Why would you even want to play this game? And it gets even worse. Here we go. Stealth missions. Stealth missions, everyone. You remember how cool those were in Arkham Asylum? You can tell what the focus of a project is in terms of how it's presented in the beginning. This is the whole focus behind Star Wars Outlaws, is to push identity politics. That's it. A handful of players have discovered another ridiculously bad bug in Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws that sees a player character, k -Vess, slide across the game's map after attempting a stealth assassination. And that's the clip we just showed you right there. Um, and people are finding all types. All types. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Um, there's so many bugs in this game. And it's going to continue. Like, broken game after broken game after broken game gets released by these studios. And so, I guess in some cases you can forgive them. But in other cases it's unforgivable. This is completely unforgivable. You have IGN. I believe IGN gave this like a, a 7 out of 10 or something like that. Um, because, of course, IGN is going to do that. But Star Wars Outlaws is yet uh, the latest in a long line of Lucasfilm disasters. And uh, it's because they don't truly care. Like Lucasfilm's talking points more than likely to Ubisoft was, hey, the focus needs to be we need a strong, diverse woman to lead this game. And we need to show how tough she is and how she can handle her own business. And she don't need no man. That was the focus. It wasn't that, hey, we need to have a game set in this time frame um, that ties to this storyline that doesn't, uh, you know, contradict this pre-existing uh, lore that already exists in the franchise. And we want it to evolve into this so we can build upon that. That's not what they want. They want a strong woman who don't need no man. That is the focus. That's all they cared about. And that's what they got. So they accomplished what they wanted with this game, which is to get your diverse woman who don't need no man. That's what they got. They accomplished what they set out to do. And in the process, they were willing to sacrifice video gameplay. They were willing to sacrifice graphics. They were willing to sacrifice story. They were willing to sacrifice everything because none of those things actually mattered. So I was right. Once again, Star Wars Outlaws is a disaster. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video and we will talk to you later.